Want to speak real English from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at EnglishClass101.com. In this video, you will listen to each dialogue twice, one version without the conversation's text, and one version with subtitles to read along with. Test your listening comprehension skills with this video. Ready? Excuse me, I'd like to take a look at a book on that shelf. Which book would you like? The one about cars. One moment, please. This one? Yep, yeah, that's right. Here you go. A woman is asking a store clerk something at a bookstore. Which book does the woman want to see? Excuse me, I'd like to take a look at a book on that shelf. Which book would you like? The one about cars. One moment, please. This one? Yep, yeah, that's right. Here you go. A man and a woman are looking over a menu at a restaurant. What's the man going to order? What are you going to order? The pizza looks delicious. I think I'll go with that. I had pizza yesterday, so... Okay, then. What about the hamburger? Sounds good. I'll go with that. A man and a woman are looking over a menu at a restaurant. What's the man going to order? What are you going to order? The pizza looks delicious. I think I'll go with that. I had pizza yesterday, so... Okay, then. What about the hamburger? Sounds good. I'll go with that. A man is calling the doctor's office. What time does he need to be at the doctor's office by? Hello. How can I help you? What time do you close today? We close at 6 o'clock, but please come in before 5.30. Okay. Thank you. A man is calling the doctor's office. What time does he need to be at the doctor's office by? Hello. How can I help you? What time do you close today? We close at 6 o'clock, but please come in before 5.30. Okay. Thank you. A boy is reading from his journal. What was the first thing the boy did today? The weather was great today. I went swimming this afternoon at the pool. And I went to a movie in the evening. I also studied all morning. Today wasn't bad. A boy is reading from his journal. What was the first thing the boy did today? The weather was great today. I went swimming this afternoon at the pool. And I went to a movie in the evening. I also studied all morning. Today wasn't bad. A woman and a man are looking at a photograph. Which photo are they looking at? This is a photo of the soccer team your son is on, isn't it? Which one is your son? This one. Oh, he's the tallest one. Yep, he's even taller than the coach. A woman and a man are looking at a photograph. Which photo are they looking at? This is a photo of the soccer team your son is on, isn't it? Which one is your son? This one. Oh, he's the tallest one. Yep, he's even taller than the coach. A man and a woman are talking. When are they going to see the movie? Why don't we go see a movie on Saturday? Yes, I'd love to, but I have to work a shift in the morning. What time will you finish? I'll finish at 2 o'clock. Then let's meet up at the cafe at 3 o'clock and see a movie at 4 o'clock. Okay. A man and a woman are talking. When are they going to see the movie? Why don't we go see a movie on Saturday? Yes, I'd love to, but I have to work a shift in the morning. What time will you finish? I'll finish at 2 o'clock. Then let's meet up at the cafe at 3 o'clock and see a movie at 4 o'clock. Okay. A man is talking with a salesperson at the mall. Which shirt is he going to buy? Hmm. 
Which shirt do you think is better, the white one or the blue one? Well, I think the blue one is better. It goes well with this gray jacket. You think so? But it doesn't go so well with this red tie, does it? Well, that's true. Okay, then I'll take the white one, not the blue one. A man is talking with a salesperson at the mall. Which shirt is he going to buy? Hmm. Which shirt do you think is better, the white one or the blue one? Well, I think the blue one is better. It goes well with this gray jacket. You think so? But it doesn't go so well with this red tie, does it? Well, that's true. Okay, then I'll take the white one, not the blue one. A man is at a hamburger place. Which meal is he going to order? Excuse me, could I have the value meal, please? Sure thing. Which do you want, French fries or salad? French fries. Okay. What will you have to drink? Coke, please. A man is at a hamburger place. Which meal is he going to order? Excuse me, could I have the value meal, please? Sure thing. Which do you want? French fries or salad? French fries. Okay. What will you have to drink? Coke, please. A teacher is baking a cake. What did the teacher put in it? Today we're baking a cake. First, mix butter and sugar. Then add two eggs and mix them well. Add flour and mix it a little bit. Put it in the oven and bake it for 50 minutes. That's it. A teacher is baking a cake. What did the teacher put in it? Today we're baking a cake. First, mix butter and sugar. Then add two eggs and mix them well. Add flour and mix it a little bit. Put it in the oven and bake it for 50 minutes. That's it. A man and a woman are talking. What are they going to do first? What do you want to do today? I want to go see a movie. Okay, I want to watch the baseball game on TV. Also, I want to go shopping. The baseball game starts at 1 o'clock. Okay, so let's see the movie first, and then you can watch the baseball game. All right, then we'll go shopping in the evening. A man and a woman are talking. What are they going to do first? What do you want to do today? I want to go see a movie. Okay, I want to watch the baseball game on TV. Also, I want to go shopping. The baseball game starts at 1 o'clock. Okay, so let's see the movie first, and then you can watch the baseball game. All right, then we'll go shopping in the evening. A teacher and a student are talking. When will the student go to the teacher's office? I didn't really understand today's class. I see. What was confusing? Several things. Do you have time now? Actually, I'm a little busy. Could you come to my office in the afternoon? I'll be there from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Okay, I'll be there at 2 p.m. A teacher and a student are talking. When will the student go to the teacher's office? I didn't really understand today's class. I see. What was confusing? Several things. Do you have time now? Actually, I'm a little busy. Could you come to my office in the afternoon? I'll be there from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Okay, I'll be there at 2 p.m. A woman is having lunch in a restaurant. What is she going to order? Would you like to have coffee or dessert after the meal? What desserts do you have? We have pudding and apple pie. Hmm. Actually, I'll just have coffee. Do you want cream or sugar? Cream, please. A woman is having lunch in a restaurant. What is she going to order? Would you like to have coffee or dessert after the meal? 
What desserts do you have? We have pudding and apple pie. Hmm. Actually, I'll just have coffee. Do you want cream or sugar? Cream, please. A woman is waiting for a man. Where is the woman now? Hey, really sorry, but it looks like I'll be 30 minutes late. Okay, I'll wait for you at the cafe. Cafe? Where is it? It's next to the bookstore. There's a bakery across from the cafe. Okay. A woman is waiting for a man. Where is the woman now? Hey, really sorry, but it looks like I'll be 30 minutes late. Okay, I'll wait for you at the cafe. Cafe? Where is it? It's next to the bookstore. There's a bakery across from the cafe. Okay. A man and a woman are talking about summer vacation. What is the woman going to do on her summer vacation? Have you already planned for the summer vacation? Not yet. I'm thinking about going to the sea or the mountains. I'm going to the beach with some friends. We're going surfing. Sounds nice. Why don't you come with us? Wow, sure. Thanks. A man and a woman are talking about summer vacation. What is the woman going to do on her summer vacation? Have you already planned for the summer vacation? Not yet. I'm thinking about going to the sea or the mountains. I'm going to the beach with some friends. We're going surfing. Sounds nice. Why don't you come with us? Wow, sure. Thanks. A man and a woman are talking. What did the woman eat this morning? Oh, I'm hungry. Did you eat anything for breakfast? Yes, I did, but only a little. What did you eat? I had yogurt and coffee. That's not enough. You'll need some bread and fruit, too. A man and a woman are talking. What did the woman eat this morning? Oh, I'm hungry. Did you eat anything for breakfast? Yes, I did, but only a little. What did you eat? I had yogurt and coffee. That's not enough. You'll need some bread and fruit, too. A woman is in a department store. Which floor is she going to? Excuse me, where are the children's clothes? They're on the fifth and sixth floors. Do you also have baby clothes? Yes, they're on the sixth floor. We have a lot there. Thank you very much. I'll go and have a look there. A woman is in a department store. Which floor is she going to? Excuse me, where are the children's clothes? They're on the fifth and sixth floors. Do you also have baby clothes? Yes, they're on the sixth floor. We have a lot there. Thank you very much. I'll go and have a look there. A man and a woman are talking. How old is the man now? Your birthday is really soon, isn't it? Yep, it's the day after tomorrow. How old are you going to be? I'm turning 60. Congratulations. We should celebrate. Thank you very much. It's kind of you to say. A man and a woman are talking. How old is the man now? Your birthday is really soon, isn't it? Yep, it's the day after tomorrow. How old are you going to be? I'm turning 60. Congratulations. We should celebrate. Thank you very much. It's kind of you to say. A woman is looking at clothes in a boutique. What is she going to buy? Wow, this blue skirt and that white skirt. I like them both. The white skirt is really popular right now. The blue one's a bit expensive, too. Well, that's true, but it suits you. Um, I can't afford both. I'll take the white one. 
an excellent choice. Thank you very much. A woman is looking at clothes in a boutique. What is she going to buy? Wow, this blue skirt and that white skirt. I like them both. The white skirt is really popular right now. The blue one's a bit expensive, too. Well, that's true, but it suits you. Um, I can't afford both. I'll take the white one. An excellent choice. Thank you very much. A man and a woman are talking. How many people in total are coming to the party? The party's tomorrow. Who's coming? Well, the two of us, two friends of mine, and my pottery teacher. That will make five then. Oh, well, my teacher's also bringing his wife. Wow, a big party then. A man and a woman are talking. How many people in total are coming to the party? The party's tomorrow. Who's coming? Well, the two of us, two friends of mine, and my pottery teacher. That will make five then. Oh, well, my teacher's also bringing his wife. Wow, a big party then. A woman bought a bed. Where is she going to put it? Your new bed. It's huge. Yep. I can't put it by the door. Let's put it at the other end of the room. Shall we put it in the middle? No. Let's put it in the corner. Okay. Sounds good. Can you help me lift it? A woman bought a bed. Where is she going to put it? Your new bed. It's huge. Yep. I can't put it by the door. Let's put it at the other end of the room. Shall we put it in the middle? No. Let's put it in the corner. Okay. Sounds good. Can you help me lift it? In this video, you will listen to each dialogue twice. One version without the conversation's text, and one version with subtitles to read along with. Test your listening comprehension skills with this video. Ready? May I help you? I'm looking for a birthday present for my wife. What do you recommend? Well, what about this necklace? Hmm, it looks a little long. What about these over here? We have one with a flower pendant and another one with a heart. I'm looking for something a bit more sophisticated. How much is this pearl necklace over here? It's $5,000. Hmm, that's too expensive. Okay, I'll take the first one. Sure thing. Here you are. May I help you? I'm looking for a birthday present for my wife. What do you recommend? Well, what about this necklace? Hmm, it looks a little long. What about these over here? We have one with a flower pendant and another one with a heart. I'm looking for something a bit more sophisticated. How much is this pearl necklace over here? It's $5,000. Hmm, that's too expensive. Okay, I'll take the first one. Sure thing. Here you are. Where should we put the new printer? Hmm, I think we should put it where the old printer is now. But the old one still works. We're going to keep using it. Okay, so we can't put the new one there. It's too bad. It would be nice to have the new one in the bookshelf next to the door, but there's only room for one printer there. Okay, then. I think we should put it on the other side of the room. Right. How about next to the window? That sounds good. Where is the old printer? Where should we put the new printer? Hmm, I think we should put it where the old printer is now. But the old one still works. We're going to keep using it. Okay, so we can't put the new one there. It's too bad. It would be nice to have the new one in the bookshelf next to the door, but there's only room for one printer there. Okay, then. I think we should put it on the other side of the room. Right. How about next to the window? That sounds good. Hey. Heading home now. Okay. 
Could you buy something on the way home? Sure. What do you want me to get? We need some milk and bread for tomorrow's breakfast. Milk and bread. Got it. How many cartons of milk? One should be fine. Okay. Anything else? One second. Let me check if we have butter. Okay, we've got some. All right. Do we have any beer left? Yes, we still have a bottle here. Okay, so we don't need to buy any right now. Right, I think we're good. Thank you. Hey, heading home now. Okay, could you buy something on the way home? Sure. What do you want me to get? We need some milk and bread for tomorrow's breakfast. Milk and bread. Got it. How many cartons of milk? One should be fine. Okay. Anything else? One second. Let me check if we have butter. Okay, we've got some. All right. Do we have any beer left? Yes, we still have a bottle here. Okay, so we don't need to buy any right now. Right, I think we're good. Thank you. We'll have sunny weather all through the morning. In the afternoon, though, it's going to get cloudy, and we'll have rain in the night. The rain will continue through the night until early tomorrow morning when the sun will start coming out again. We'll have sunny weather all through the morning. In the afternoon, though, it's going to get cloudy, and we'll have rain in the night. The rain will continue through the night until early tomorrow morning when the sun will start coming out again. We've got some new designs for the company business card. Which one do you think is best? Let's see. I think the company name should be bigger. Okay then. It should be one of these. Right. I like these because the company name is big and on top. One of these has a space for a photo. What do you think? Hmm. I think it makes the text a little too small. Yeah, the text could be a little hard to read with the picture. Okay then. Let's go with the other one. We've got some new designs for the company business card. Which one do you think is best? Let's see. I think the company name should be bigger. Okay, then. It should be one of these. Right. I like these because the company name is big and on top. One of these has a space for a photo. What do you think? Hmm. I think it makes the text a little too small. Yeah, the text could be a little hard to read with the picture. Okay, then. Let's go with the other one. Excuse me. Do you know if there's a bus stop near here? Yes, one is very close. First, go straight and turn at the second traffic light. Then, turn left at the corner of the bookstore, you will see a bank. The bus stop is in front of the bank. Got it. Thank you so much. Excuse me. Do you know if there's a bus stop near here? Yes, one is very close. First, go straight and turn at the second traffic light. Then, turn left at the corner of the bookstore, you will see a bank. The bus stop is in front of the bank. Got it. Thank you so much. We'll be having a meeting with Michael from our New York office this afternoon. Do you know if there are any drinks left? We have some coffee. Hmm, Michael doesn't drink coffee. Do we have any bottled water? Yes, I think there's still some left. Excellent. Very good. Do you want anything? I'll have the same thing too. We'll be having a meeting with Michael from our New York office this afternoon. Do you know if there are any drinks left? We have some coffee. Hmm, Michael doesn't drink coffee. Do we have any bottled water? Yes, I think there's still some left. Excellent. Very good. Do you want anything? I'll have the same thing too. Excuse me, I'm looking for a really light ultrabook. Okay, how about this one? It's really flat and light. It looks nice. Can you watch DVDs on this computer? I'm afraid not. You can watch DVDs on that one, but it's a little bit larger and heavier. 
Hmm, yeah. This is too heavy. I'll buy the first one. Thank you so much. You can choose from white, black, or silver. I want the black one. Excuse me, I'm looking for a really light ultrabook. Okay, how about this one? It's really flat and light. It looks nice. Can you watch DVDs on this computer? I'm afraid not. You can watch DVDs on that one, but it's a little bit larger and heavier. Hmm, yeah. This is too heavy. I'll buy the first one. Thank you so much. You can choose from white, black, or silver. I want the black one. You're going on a trip next week, right? Yes, I'm going to Hong Kong on Tuesday and will stay there for two nights. Then you're going to Taipei? Yes, I'm going to Taipei on Thursday and will stay there overnight, and then I'll come back home. So, you'll be at the meeting on Saturday, right? Yes, that's right. You're going on a trip next week, right? Yes, I'm going to Hong Kong on Tuesday and will stay there for two nights. Then you're going to Taipei? Yes, I'm going to Taipei on Thursday and will stay there overnight, and then I'll come back home. So, you'll be at the meeting on Saturday, right? Yes, that's right. Thank you for calling. This is Pizza Station. Hi, can I have a garlic tomato pizza? A garlic tomato pizza? Okay, which size? A large, please, and cut it into eight pieces. Sure. Do you want anything else? Yes, I'll have four breadsticks and two cans of Coke. All right, we're going to deliver it in about 40 minutes. Thank you for calling. This is Pizza Station. Hi, can I have a garlic tomato pizza? A garlic tomato pizza? Okay, which size? A large, please, and cut it into eight pieces. Sure. Do you want anything else? Yes. I'll have four breadsticks and two cans of Coke. All right, we're going to deliver it in about 40 minutes. Excuse me, how late are you open? We're open until 11 p.m., but the kitchen closes at 10 p.m. Is that okay? Yes, sure, thanks. It's pretty late, so I thought you were already closed. We used to close this place at 10 p.m., but we pushed it back. Oh. I see. But we close the restaurant at 9 on Sunday. Got it. Excuse me, how late are you open? We're open until 11 p.m., but the kitchen closes at 10 p.m. Is that okay? Yes, sure, thanks. It's pretty late, so I thought you were already closed. We used to close this place at 10 p.m., but we pushed it back. Oh, I see. But we close the restaurant at 9 on Sunday. Got it. Which vacuum do you like better? Well, I think this one looks nice. Yeah, it does. It'll take three or four days to deliver. Can we be here next Saturday? No, we're going to play golf Saturday morning. Okay, then maybe we can have it delivered Sunday. Sounds good. Hey. Let's remember not to stay out too late Friday night. We have to get up early on Sunday. I know. Which vacuum do you like better? Well, I think this one looks nice. Yeah, it does. It'll take three or four days to deliver. Can we be here next Saturday? No, we're going to play golf Saturday morning. Okay, then maybe we can have it delivered Sunday. Sounds good. Hey, let's remember not to stay out too late Friday night. We have to get up early on Sunday. I know. Well, I'm giving you three kinds of medicine. Please take them after dinner every day. Okay. Take two of the round pills, one capsule, and one eardrop each time. Sure. I'm giving you a three-day course of medicine. 
If you're not better after that, come and see me again. Thank you very much. Get well soon. Well, I'm giving you three kinds of medicine. Please take them after dinner every day. Okay. Take two of the round pills, one capsule, and one eardrop each time. Sure. I'm giving you a three day course of medicine. If you're not better after that, come and see me again. Thank you very much. Get well soon. I'd like to introduce you to my family. Is there some time soon you could come over? Wow, this is a big step. Could you tell me a bit more about your family before I meet them? Sure. My father works in computers and his hobby is fishing. My mother runs a restaurant and she's good at cooking. They live nearby. Do you have any brothers and sisters? Yes, I have an older sister and a younger brother. My sister is married and is living abroad. My brother is in law school over on the East Coast. It sounds like you have a nice family. I'd love to meet them. I'd like to introduce you to my family. Is there some time soon you could come over? Wow, this is a big step. Could you tell me a bit more about your family before I meet them? Sure. My father works in computers and his hobby is fishing. My mother runs a restaurant and she's good at cooking. They live nearby. Do you have any brothers and sisters? Yes. I have an older sister and a younger brother. My sister is married and is living abroad. My brother is in law school over on the East Coast. It sounds like you have a nice family. I'd love to meet them. Hello, are you looking for glasses? Yes, my eyes have been quite bad lately. Okay, do you like square lenses? Well, I've been wearing square shaped glasses for a long time. So, I'd like to try something else. Sure. I recommend these round ones. Hmm. I don't think it suits me like I expected. I'll take the same shape as my current glasses. Do you have any with black frames? Certainly. How about this pair? Yes, I'll take these. Hello. Are you looking for glasses? Yes. My eyes have been quite bad lately. Okay. Do you like square lenses? Well, I've been wearing square shaped glasses for a long time, so I'd like to try something else. Sure. I recommend these round ones. Hmm. I don't think it suits me like I expected. I'll take the same shape as my current glasses. Do you have any with black frames? Certainly. How about this pair? Yes, I'll take these. I'm sorry, but can you please cancel my appointment for today? Sure thing. Is there another day when you can come in? How about Saturday? The morning is better for me. I'm afraid this Saturday is fully booked. We can put you in for next Saturday, though. Actually, one of my teeth is starting to hurt. Can we do late afternoon on Thursday? Yes, both five o'clock and six o'clock are available. Six o'clock sounds good. Sure thing. We'll schedule you for then. I'm sorry, but can you please cancel my appointment for today? Sure thing. Is there another day when you can come in? How about Saturday? The morning is better for me. I'm afraid this Saturday is fully booked. We can put you in for next Saturday, though. Actually, one of my teeth is starting to hurt. Can we do late afternoon on Thursday? Yes, both five o'clock and six o'clock are available. Six o'clock sounds good. Sure thing. We'll schedule you for then. Can't wait for your party on Sunday. Me too. It starts at 12 o'clock. Right. Your apartment is 1018. Isn't it? Yes, that's right. My apartment is in a two building complex with an east and west tower. My room is 1018 in the east building. Okay. Please call me if you have any questions. Will do. Thank you.
Can't wait for your party on Sunday. Me too. It starts at 12 o'clock. Right. Your apartment is 1018, isn't it? Yes, that's right. My apartment is in a two building complex with an east and west tower. My room is 1018 in the east building. Okay. Please call me if you have any questions. Will do. Thank you. Hello, how may I help you? I'd like to rent these DVDs, please. Three altogether. You know, you get a discount if you rent five. Sounds nice, but I won't have time to watch that many movies, so I'll just take these three. We're offering a special discount right now, and you can get them for an extra week. Really? Awesome. I'll get two more. Hello, how may I help you? I'd like to rent these DVDs, please. Three altogether. You know, you get a discount if you rent five. Sounds nice, but I won't have time to watch that many movies, so I'll just take these three. We're offering a special discount right now, and you can get them for an extra week. Really? Awesome. I'll get two more. Hey, what time is it? Sorry, no watch today, and I forgot my phone at home. Okay, I'm a bit worried that we won't make the train. Look, there's a clock at the station entrance. Nice, but it looks like the train will be here in five minutes. That's the 10 o'clock train, right? Right, we'd better hurry up. Hey, what time is it? Sorry, no watch today, and I forgot my phone at home. Okay, I'm a bit worried that we won't make the train. Look, there's a clock at the station entrance. Nice, but it looks like the train will be here in five minutes. That's the 10 o'clock train, right? Right, we'd better hurry up. Do you have any seats available for the flight tomorrow night? Would you like to sit in regular economy or premium economy? Regular economy is fine. Hmm, thank you for waiting. We do have a few seats. Great. I'd like an aisle seat, please. I'm afraid there are no aisle seats left. Ah,、uh, okay. Could you just not put me in the middle? Would a window seat be okay? Sure. Thank you. Do you have any seats available for the flight tomorrow night? Would you like to sit in regular economy or premium economy? Regular economy is fine. Hmm. Thank you for waiting. We do have a few seats. Great. I'd like an aisle seat, please. I'm afraid there are no aisle seats left. Ah,、uh, okay. Could you just not put me in the middle? Would a window seat be okay? Sure. Thank you. Want to speak real English from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at EnglishClass101.com. In this video, you will listen to each dialogue twice one version without the conversation's text, and one version with subtitles to read along with. Test your listening comprehension skills with this video. Ready? Hi, I have deliveries for the human resources and accounting departments. Sure, they're both on the fourth floor. All right, I also need to pick something up from the sales department. The sales department has a first and second division. Which one is it? Let's see. It's the second division. The sales second division is on the second floor. There's an intercom at the entrance, so please call the person you're looking for. Okay. Is that the right elevator over there? I'm so sorry, but that elevator is currently out of service for a safety inspection. Do you mind using the stairs over there? Not at all. Thank you very much. A delivery person is talking to a receptionist. What will the delivery person do next? Choose the incorrect answer. Hi, I have deliveries for the human resources and accounting departments. Sure, they're both on the fourth floor. 
All right, I also need to pick something up from the sales department. The sales department has a first and second division. Which one is it? Let's see. It's the second division. The sales second division is on the second floor. There's an intercom at the entrance, so please call the person you're looking for. Okay, is that the right elevator over there? I'm so sorry, but that elevator is currently out of service for a safety inspection. Do you mind using the stairs over there? Not at all. Thank you very much. How about this one? It's got a nice large living room. Hmm. I like a big living room, but I want the parking space. Let's see. How about this one? Yeah, that's nice. Should we go see this one? Wait a second. Isn't the closet a bit too small? Good point. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be one that's perfect. Wait. How about this one? It's got everything we need, doesn't it? And the closet is pretty large, too. Let's go see this one. Okay. A husband and a wife are looking at some floor plans. Which room are they going to see? How about this one? It's got a nice large living room. Hmm. I like a big living room, but I want the parking space. Let's see. How about this one? Yeah, that's nice. Should we go see this one? Wait a second. Isn't the closet a bit too small? Good point. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be one that's perfect. Wait, how about this one? It's got everything we need, doesn't it? And the closet is pretty large, too. Let's go see this one. Okay. Seaside Hotel, how may I help you? Hi. I'd like to stay for one night on September 22nd. Certainly. One night from September 22nd. How many people? Two. Would you like a smoking or a non-smoking room, sir? Non-smoking. The only non-smoking room available on that day is a mountain view room. Is that okay? Well, I was hoping for an ocean view room. I'm sorry, but the only ocean view room available on that day is a smoking room. I see. Is there a non-smoking ocean view room available on September 23rd? Yes, there is. Okay, we'll stay on September 23rd. A man is making a reservation at a hotel. Which room is he going to stay in? Seaside Hotel, how may I help you? Hi, I'd like to stay for one night on September 22nd. Certainly, one night from September 22nd. How many people? Two. Would you like a smoking or a non-smoking room, sir? Non-smoking. The only non-smoking room available on that day is a mountain view room. Is that okay? Well, I was hoping for an ocean view room. I'm sorry, but the only ocean view room available on that day is a smoking room. I see. Is there a non-smoking ocean view room available on September 23rd? Yes, there is. Okay, we'll stay on September 23rd. Hi, may I help you? Hi. I've got a 3 o'clock reservation for Richie. Ah, uh, yes. Welcome, Miss Richie. Please come this way. What can I do for you today? I'd like to change my hairstyle a little bit. Okay. What length would you like? About shoulder length. All right. And what about your bangs? Keep the bangs. Straight down or parted on the side? To the side a bit. Which side? Maybe a little left from the middle? Got it. We'll start with the shampoo, so please come this way. A woman is talking to her hairstylist. How would she like to change her hair? Hi, may I help you? Hi, I've got a 3 o'clock reservation for Richie. Ah, yes. Welcome, Miss Richie. Please come this way. What can I do for you today? I'd like to change my hairstyle a little bit. Okay, what length would you like? About shoulder length. All right. And what about your bangs? Keep the bangs. Straight down or parted on the side? To the side a bit. Which side? Maybe a little left from the middle? Got it. We'll start with the shampoo, so please come this way. Hey, what do you think about this job? The hourly pay is pretty high. Sure, the pay looks great, but could you really do a newspaper delivery route? Of course. I'm good at riding bikes. But I'm worried about waking up early. What about this one? 
The pay isn't as high, but you can work two or three days a week and start working from the evening. Oh, this one? A supermarket cashier, huh? Well, it would be good to work after school. This one for a coffee shop might be good too. Oh, yeah, I love that place, and it's on my way to school. Not bad, huh? Hmm, which one should I apply to? Which two is it between? The coffee shop and the newspaper delivery route? Yeah, the pay for the newspaper route is really nice. Okay, my mind's made up. I guess I'll just have to get up early. A male and female student are looking at job advertisements. Which job is the female student going to apply for? Hey, what do you think about this job? The hourly pay is pretty high. Sure, the pay looks great, but could you really do a newspaper delivery route? Of course. I'm good at riding bikes, but I'm worried about waking up early. What about this one? The pay isn't as high, but you can work two or three days a week and start working from the evening. Oh, this one? A supermarket cashier, huh? Well, it would be good to work after school. This one for a coffee shop might be good too. Oh, yeah, I love that place, and it's on my way to school. Not bad, huh? Hmm, which one should I apply to? Which two is it between? The coffee shop and the newspaper delivery route? Yeah, the pay for the newspaper route is really nice. Okay, my mind's made up. I guess I'll just have to get up early. It looks very nice on you, and it fits perfectly. Yeah, it fits, but I usually wear plain colors. I'm not used to this kind of a pattern. Well, I think you look great. Yeah? Still, it would take some courage for me to actually wear this. What about this dress then? The pattern is much more reserved, so it won't feel as flashy. You're right. Let me try that one on. Go right ahead. What do you think, ma'am? This one suits me much more than the last. Do you have a long sleeved version with this design? Yes, we do. Thanks. I'll buy that. A woman is trying on a dress and talking to a shop clerk. Which dress is she going to buy? It looks very nice on you, and it fits perfectly. Yeah, it fits, but I usually wear plain colors. I'm not used to this kind of a pattern. Well, I think you look great. Yeah? Still, it would take some courage for me to actually wear this. What about this dress then? The pattern is much more reserved, so it won't feel as flashy. You're right. Let me try that one on. Go right ahead. What do you think, ma'am? This one suits me much more than the last. Do you have a long sleeved version with this design? Yes, we do. Thanks. I'll buy that. Hey, could you do me a favor? There's a document on my desk, and I need you to deliver it to the sales department. Sure. Which one is it? I think it's in a blue envelope. A blue envelope? Well, there are two blue envelopes on your desk. Ah, right there should be a red stamp in the upper right corner of the envelope. The other one should have a green stamp, but it's the orientation guide we hand out to new employees. The one with the red stamp. Okay, got it. Great. Please deliver it to the sales department by one o'clock and make sure you give it to the manager directly. You know him, right? Yes, we've met several times. Good. And while you're at it, could you deliver the other envelope to HR? Sure thing. A president and his assistant are talking on the phone. Which document is the assistant going to deliver to the sales department? Hey, could you do me a favor? There's a document on my desk, and I need you to deliver it to the sales department. Sure. Which one is it? I think it's in a blue envelope. A blue envelope? Well, there are two blue envelopes on your desk. Ah, right there should be a red stamp in the upper right corner of the envelope. The other one should have a green stamp, but it's the orientation guide we hand out to new employees. The one with the red stamp. Okay, got it. Great. Please deliver it to the sales department by one o'clock and make sure you give it to the manager directly. You know him, right? Yes, we've met several times. Good. And while you're at it, could you deliver the other envelope to HR? Sure thing. Hello, how can I help you? 
Hi. I was at your restaurant for lunch today, and I think I left my scarf there. You left your scarf at the table? Do you remember where you were seated? Well, it was in the back of the restaurant. Were you in the smoking area or the non smoking area? The non smoking area. How big was your table? It was a table for four people. Okay, I'll go check. Please wait for a moment. Thank you so much. A woman is calling a restaurant on the phone. At which table was she having lunch? Hello, how can I help you? Hi, I was at your restaurant for lunch today, and I think I left my scarf there. You left your scarf at the table? Do you remember where you were seated? Well, it was in the back of the restaurant. Were you in the smoking area or the non smoking area? The non smoking area. How big was your table? It was a table for four people. Okay, I'll go check. Please wait for a moment. Thank you so much. A man is looking for an apartment. Which apartment is he probably going to choose? Hi there, I'm looking for an apartment. Could you show me some floor plans? Sure thing. Will you be living alone? No, I'm married, and we're looking for a one bedroom apartment with a study. Okay, how about this one? There are two rooms plus a living room. It's near a busy street, though, so it might not be very quiet. I see. I usually work at home, so I need a quiet place, and I'd prefer the living room to be square shaped. Well, how about this one? It's located a bit far from downtown, but it's in a quiet residential area. There are two rooms and a living room, but one of the rooms is a little small. Hmm, we don't have too much stuff, so this one might work for us. We can show you another apartment with bigger rooms, but it's located further from downtown. No, thank you. Let's have a look at the second one you showed me. A man is looking for an apartment. Which apartment is he probably going to choose? Hi there, I'm looking for an apartment. Could you show me some floor plans? Sure thing. Will you be living alone? No, I'm married, and we're looking for a one bedroom apartment with a study. Okay, how about this one? There are two rooms plus a living room. It's near a busy street, though, so it might not be very quiet. I see. I usually work at home, so I need a quiet place. And I'd prefer the living room to be square shaped. Well, how about this one? It's located a bit far from downtown, but it's in a quiet residential area. There are two rooms and a living room, but one of the rooms is a little small. Hmm, we don't have too much stuff, so this one might work for us. We can show you another apartment with bigger rooms, but it's located further from downtown. No, thank you. Let's have a look at the second one you showed me. Excuse me, I'd like to order a birthday cake for my daughter. Great. Could you tell me what kind of cake you're looking for? My daughter likes chocolate, so I think a chocolate cream cake would be good. And can you put strawberries on it? Absolutely. We have round and square cakes. Which one would you prefer? Hmm. A round one, please. Okay. How old is your daughter going to be? She'll be 12. Okay. Then we'll get 12 candles ready. Do you want to write a message? Yes. Please write happy birthday. All right. Do you want that written in pink? If so, we'll put it on a white plate. Otherwise, we can write it in white and put it on a pink plate. Please write it in pink and put it on a white plate. A woman is ordering a birthday cake. Which cake is she going to order? Excuse me. I'd like to order a birthday cake for my daughter. Great. Could you tell me what kind of cake you're looking for? My daughter likes chocolate, so I think a chocolate cream cake would be good. And can you put strawberries on it? Absolutely. We have round and square cakes. Which one would you prefer? Hmm. A round one, please. Okay. How old is your daughter going to be? She'll be 12. Okay. Then we'll get 12 candles ready. Do you want to write a message? Yes. Please write. Happy birthday. All right. Do you want that written in pink? If so, we'll put it on a white plate. Otherwise, we can write it in white and put it on a pink plate. Please write it in pink 
and put it on a white plate. I think we should decide on the moving date and call a moving company. Sounds good. I was just looking at some moving companies. I don't want to pay a lot of money. Definitely. This company here will give us a discount of 10% if we book at least one month before the moving day. One month before? Then we have to move after December 15th in order to get the discount. Yep, and there's an additional discount if we book on a weekday. A weekday? Well, I have a meeting that Monday morning, and the exhibition is on Tuesday and Wednesday, so. Friday would be good because we could then organize the new place over the weekend. Yeah, but wait a second. They say 15% off Monday to Thursday and 5% off on Friday. Well, what do you want to do? Let's go for the biggest discount. I'll be done with the exhibition by then anyway. A man and a woman are discussing plans for their upcoming move. When are they going to move? I think we should decide on the moving date and call a moving company. Sounds good. I was just looking at some moving companies. I don't want to pay a lot of money. Definitely. This company here will give us a discount of 10%. If we book at least one month before the moving day. One month before? Then we have to move after December 15th in order to get the discount. Yep, and there's an additional discount if we book on a weekday. A weekday? Well, I have a meeting that Monday morning, and the exhibition is on Tuesday and Wednesday, so. Friday would be good because we could then organize the new place over the weekend. Yeah, but wait a second. They say 15% off Monday to Thursday and 5% off on Friday. Well, what do you want to do? Let's go for the biggest discount. I'll be done with the exhibition by then anyway. Excuse me, do you only sell this shirt in packs of three? We can sell them separately, but it's going to cost you more per shirt. All right, well, I don't need three of the same shirt. You know, if you buy this set of three ties, we can give you a discount on shirts so you can buy three for the price of one. I see. A set of three ties, and I also get to choose three shirts for the price of one? That's right. Okay. I don't need three shirts, but I'll give the other shirts to someone else. That's a nice idea, sir. A man is shopping during a sale. What will he buy? Excuse me, do you only sell this shirt in packs of three? We can sell them separately, but it's going to cost you more per shirt. All right, well, I don't need three of the same shirt. You know, if you buy this set of three ties, we can give you a discount on shirts so you can buy three for the price of one. I see. A set of three ties, and I also get to choose three shirts for the price of one? That's right. Okay. I don't need three shirts, but I'll give the other shirts to someone else. That's a nice idea, sir. Here's a report on the bags that we started selling last month. First of all, when it came to color, black was the number one seller. It's followed by white and sky blue. Yellow didn't sell very well. So yellow was a dud. Well, what about the size? Bigger bags sold more than smaller ones. Bags that could fit a magazine or a regular letter-sized notebook in them were the most popular. Okay. Regarding handles, leather was more popular than ones made with a metal chain. I see. It looks like bags with a more formal style sell better. That's right. I think we should use more neutral colors, such as beige or brown, for our new collection. Okay, then. Let's go with the beige for the next new color. You can stop the production of yellow bags. Got it. A woman is giving a report about the sales of bags. Which bag is selling best? Here's a report on the bags that we started selling last month. First of all, when it came to color, black was the number one seller. It's followed by white and sky blue. Yellow didn't sell very well. So yellow was a dud. Well, what about the size? Bigger bags sold more than smaller ones. Bags that could fit a magazine or a regular letter-sized notebook in them were the most popular. Okay. Regarding handles, leather was more popular than ones made with a metal chain. I see. 
It looks like bags with a more formal style sell better. That's right. I think we should use more neutral colors, such as beige or brown, for our new collection. Okay then, let's go with the beige for the next new color. You can stop the production of yellow bags. Got it. Hi, I'd like to make an appointment for a health checkup. Sure. Health checkups are a bit different from standard examinations and are available only on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Which day would you like? Okay, then is Saturday okay? Yes, it looks open. We're only open in the morning on Saturdays. Is that okay? Morning only? Hmm. What time are you open until on weekdays? We're open until 6 p.m. on Mondays and 8 p.m. on Wednesdays. I see. What time do you open in the morning? We open at 8 a.m. Next week, we're full all morning during the week. But if you can wait until the week after that, both Monday and Wednesday are open from 8 a.m. Well, I'll call again after I check my schedule. All right, sir. A man is calling a doctor's office. What times are available for the health checkup? Hi. I'd like to make an appointment for a health checkup. Sure. Health checkups are a bit different from standard examinations and are available only on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Which day would you like? Okay, then is Saturday okay? Yes, it looks open. We're only open in the morning on Saturdays. Is that okay? Morning only? Hmm. What time are you open until on weekdays? We're open until 6 p.m. on Mondays and 8 p.m. on Wednesdays. I see. What time do you open in the morning? We open at 8 a.m. Next week, we're full all morning during the week. But if you can wait until the week after that, both Monday and Wednesday are open from 8 a.m. Well, I'll call again after I check my schedule. All right, sir. Sorry to bother you, but... Could you go and get my daughter? Sure. Does she know me? Yeah. She's seen you in pictures, so she should be able to recognize you. That's helpful. So what does she look like? She has curly black hair. She's slim and taller than average. Do you have any idea what she'll be wearing? She said she'll be wearing the hat I gave her for her birthday. It's white with a black ribbon. It sounds like it will be easy enough. All right, I'll go get her now. Thank you. A man and a woman are talking. Which one is the woman's daughter? Sorry to bother you, but could you go and get my daughter? Sure. Does she know me? Yeah. She's seen you in pictures, so she should be able to recognize you. That's helpful. So what does she look like? She has curly black hair. She's slim and taller than average. Do you have any idea what she'll be wearing? She said she'll be wearing the hat I gave her for her birthday. It's white with a black ribbon. It sounds like it will be easy enough. All right, I'll go get her now. Thank you. This is terrible. I can't find my wallet. I must have left it somewhere. What? Do you remember the last time you used it? No, I can't remember. Well then, let's try to think of where you went today. Okay, first I went to see a movie with a friend. We went to a coffee shop after that, but my friend paid so I didn't need to pull out my wallet. But did you use it when you bought the movie tickets? Yes, I definitely used it there. And later we went to the gym. After that, I realized my wallet was gone. Did you have to use your wallet at the gym? No, because the membership fee is automatically paid by credit card. But wait, I did buy some juice at the vending machine at the entrance. All right then, let's go there and look for it. A man is talking with a woman about a lost wallet. Where will the man go to look for it? This is terrible. I can't find my wallet. I must have left it somewhere. What? Do you remember the last time you used it? No, I can't remember. Well then... Let's try to think of where you went today. Okay, first I went to see a movie with a friend. We went to a coffee shop after that, but my friend paid so I didn't need to pull out my wallet. 
But did you use it when you bought the movie tickets? Yes, I definitely used it there. And later we went to the gym. After that, I realized my wallet was gone. Did you have to use your wallet at the gym? No, because the membership fee is automatically paid by credit card. But wait, I did buy some juice at the vending machine at the entrance. All right then, let's go there and look for it. We have to have a meeting about our next group presentation. Right. When are you free? I come to school on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. I am here on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, so either Wednesday or Thursday would work. How about Thursday afternoon then? On Thursdays, I have lectures until 4 p.m. I can make it after economics class, but then I have to be at work at 5 o'clock. So, I will only be available for an hour. Hmm, that sounds a bit too short. How about Wednesday then? I have modern history at 9, then international law at 3, so I'm free in between. I have Asian history at noon, then a part time job in the evening. What about meeting early in the morning and talking before your first class? Hmm, I'm not a morning person. Why don't we meet on Thursday evening and I will reschedule my job for another day? Okay, sounds good. I'll meet you in the cafeteria after class. A male and a female student are talking while looking at their class schedule. What is the male student's schedule on the day of the meeting? We have to have a meeting about our next group presentation. Right. When are you free? I come to school on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. I am here on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, so either Wednesday or Thursday would work. How about Thursday afternoon then? On Thursdays, I have lectures until 4 p.m. I can make it after economics class, but then I have to be at work at 5 o'clock. So I will only be available for an hour. Hmm, that sounds a bit too short. How about Wednesday then? I have modern history at 9, then international law at 3. So, I'm free in between. I have Asian history at noon, then a part time job in the evening. What about meeting early in the morning and talking before your first class? Hmm, I'm not a morning person. Why don't we meet on Thursday evening and I will reschedule my job for another day? Okay, sounds good. I'll meet you in the cafeteria after class. I heard you have a twin brother. I didn't know that. I do, but people say we don't look alike. See, my brother is in this picture, but can you tell which one he is? Hmm, I don't see anyone who looks like you. Maybe this one with the cap? Nope, that's not him. He has black hair, just like me. Then is it this tall guy? Nope, he's not that tall. I still can't find him. You really don't look alike. I know. Maybe his glasses are making it more difficult. Glasses? Is he this one, second from the left? Yep, you found him. Do you think we look alike? No, not really. A man and a woman are talking while looking at a picture. Which one is the woman's brother? I heard you have a twin brother. I didn't know that. I do, but people say we don't look alike. See, my brother is in this picture, but can you tell which one he is? Hmm. I don't see anyone who looks like you. Maybe this one with the cap? Nope, that's not him. He has black hair, just like me. Then is it this tall guy? Nope, he's not that tall. I still can't find him. You really don't look alike. I know. Maybe his glasses are making it more difficult. Glasses? Is he this one, second from the left? Yep, you found him. Do you think we look alike? No, not really. Hey, look at this article. It's about the three most popular subjects among 10 year old and 15 year old kids. Oh, let me see. Physical education is on the top of the 10 year old's list. Physical education is still popular even though I have heard that kids these days spend less time playing sports. Yes, and music came in second. When you get older, you become interested in different subjects. The most popular subject among the 15 year old kids is history. Right. Oh, and politics came in second. Information technology ranked third, 
but it wasn't even a subject in school when we were that age. What was the third most popular subject for 10 year old kids? Let's see. Oh, it was art. I wonder if they design things in art class using computer software these days. A man and a woman are talking while looking at a poll regarding kids' favorite subjects. Which chart shows the results for 15 year old kids? Hey, look at this article. It's about the three most popular subjects among 10 year old and 15 year old kids. Oh, let me see. Physical education is on the top of the 10 year old's list. Physical education is still popular even though I have heard that kids these days spend less time playing sports. Yes, and music came in second. When you get older, you become interested in different subjects. The most popular subject among the 15 year old kids is history. Right. Oh, and politics came in second. Information technology ranked third, but it wasn't even a subject in school when we were that age. What was the third most popular subject for 10 year old kids? Let's see. Oh, it was art. I wonder if they design things in art class using computer software these days. Here is the weather forecast for the upcoming week. The first half of the week will be mostly sunny with a chance of occasional cloudy skies. In the second half of the week, we will see overcast skies with scattered thunderstorms. As the weather takes a turn for the worse around midweek, the eastern parts of the city are most likely to be affected by these storms. The high temperatures throughout the week will be about the same as last year's average, which was 65 degrees. However, early in the week, the highs will be in the upper 60s, and later in the week, the temperatures will cool to highs in the low 60s. Low temperatures will continue to be in the low 40s, which is slightly colder than normal. The forecast for tomorrow is warm and sunny. Perfect weather for your holiday weekend. There's a weather forecast on TV. What will the weather be like in the upcoming week? Here is the weather forecast for the upcoming week. The first half of the week will be mostly sunny with a chance of occasional cloudy skies. In the second half of the week, we will see overcast skies with scattered thunderstorms. As the weather takes a turn for the worse around midweek, the eastern parts of the city are most likely to be affected by these storms. The high temperatures throughout the week will be about the same as last year's average, which was 65 degrees. However, early in the week, the highs will be in the upper 60s, and later in the week, the temperatures will cool to highs in the low 60s. Low temperatures will continue to be in the low 40s, which is slightly colder than normal. The forecast for tomorrow is warm and sunny. Perfect weather for your holiday weekend. Want to speak real English from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at EnglishClass101.com. In this video, you will listen to each dialogue twice, one version without the conversation's text and one version with subtitles to read along with. Test your listening comprehension skills with this video. Ready? Please look at the handout. The left chart shows our company's sales over the past three years and the sales forecast for the current year. And the right chart shows the monthly breakdown in sales up to October of this year. Now, please have a look at the left chart. It shows that sales have been steadily increasing over the past three years. And if we can keep increasing our sales, the total sales for this year will show an increase over last year. Next, please look at the right chart. The right chart shows that the campaigns we ran in April and August were fairly effective. I see, but the sales decreased in May and September following the campaigns. Yes, but this kind of decrease is unavoidable. I expect the annual sales for this year will show an increase over last year if we can keep increasing our sales. A man is reporting about his company's sales performance at a meeting. Which two charts is he using for his presentation? Please look at the handout. The left chart shows our company's sales over the past three years and the sales forecast for the current year. And the right chart shows the monthly breakdown in sales up to October of this year. Now, please have a look at the left chart. It shows that sales have been steadily increasing over the past three years. And if we can keep increasing our sales, the total sales for this year will show an increase over last year. Next, please look at the right chart. The right chart shows that the campaigns we ran in April and August were fairly effective. I see, but the sales decreased in May and September following the campaigns. Yes, but this kind of decrease is unavoidable. 
I expect the annual sales for this year will show an increase over last year if we can keep increasing our sales. Let me start by explaining our club's different membership options, as described in this brochure. Regular members can use the gym and the pool at any time on any day of the week, but we also offer early morning memberships where people can use the facilities only in the early morning, and night memberships for people who only want to come in the evening. What are the hours for early morning members? Early morning members can use the facilities from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m., and night members can use them from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. I see. So early morning members can stop by and use the facilities on their way to work. Exactly. The early morning type is popular among people with 9 to 5 jobs, and we also offer memberships just for the gym or just for the pool, if you only want to use one of those. I want to use both, the gym and the pool. I think I'll use the gym in the early morning before going to work on weekdays, and then use the pool on the weekend. Do you have a membership that covers something like early mornings for the weekdays, but all day on the weekend? We're sorry, but we don't offer a membership like that, sir. Okay. I don't think I can get up that early on the weekend, so I'll choose this membership option. A man is joining a sports club and getting information on its policies. What type of membership will he choose? Let me start by explaining our club's different membership options, as described in this brochure. Regular members can use the gym and the pool at any time on any day of the week, but we also offer early morning memberships where people can use the facilities only in the early morning, and night memberships for people who only want to come in the evening. What are the hours for early morning members? Early morning members can use the facilities from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m., and night members can use them from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. I see. So early morning members can stop by and use the facilities on their way to work. Exactly. The early morning type is popular among people with 9 to 5 jobs, and we also offer memberships just for the gym or just for the pool, if you only want to use one of those. I want to use both, the gym and the pool. I think I'll use the gym in the early morning before going to work on weekdays, and then use the pool on the weekend. Do you have a membership that covers something like early mornings for the weekdays, but all day on the weekend? We're sorry, but we don't offer a membership like that, sir. Okay. I don't think I can get up that early on the weekend, so I'll choose this membership option. We decided to launch the new product on October 15th, and we'd like to offer you the contract to make the brochure. Thank you so much. We're definitely excited about helping you with this project. So, could you tell us a bit about the schedule? When will you need everything by? Well, considering the time needed for printing, we'd like to get the brochures to the printing stage by the end of September. So would it be possible for you to get us the first design draft by the middle of August? Well, we'd like to give you three design options for the initial draft and then have you choose the one which best fits your concept. Then we'll make the final design based on your choice. So it'd be very helpful if you could give us two more weeks to prepare for this stage. Hmm, okay. Maybe one month will be enough time to choose one of the designs you've made and then decide on the final design. All right, we'll be counting on you. You're in good hands. Our design team is the best. Thank you so much. A woman is talking with a man who works for an outsourced printing company about a brochure for a new product. When is the deadline for the first design draft for the brochure? We decided to launch the new product on October 15th, and we'd like to offer you the contract to make the brochure. Thank you so much. We're definitely excited about helping you with this project. So, could you tell us a bit about the schedule? When will you need everything by? Well, considering the time needed for printing, we'd like to get the brochures to the printing stage by the end of September. So would it be possible for you to get us the first design draft by the middle of August? Well, we'd like to give you three design options for the initial draft and then have you choose the one which best fits your concept. Then we'll make the final design based on your choice. So it'll be very helpful if you could give us two more weeks to prepare for this stage. Hmm. Okay, maybe one month will be enough time to choose one of the designs you've made and then decide on the final design. All right, we'll be counting on you. You're in good hands. Our design team is the best. Thank you so much. Hello, this is Blackfriars Playhouse. Can I help you? I'd like to get two tickets for King Lear at 5.30 this evening. Do you still have any tickets available? We do have a few seats left, but I'm sorry to say we don't have any next to each other. If you don't mind, though, we can get you two seats separately. Okay, we don't mind.
Do you have any particular requests? Well, do you have any aisle seats? Yes, we have an aisle seat at the left side of the center section, and to the right of it, three seats over, we have another free seat. To the side? Okay, then please book that aisle seat. Certainly. How about the other one? Do you have any seats near the center? The only center seats we have left are from the first row to the third row. I'm not too crazy about having actors spit on me, so. This room is relatively small, and I think you could enjoy the play even at the end of the row on the side. Is that so? Then I'll take the one you mentioned before on the left side. A woman is calling on the phone to reserve tickets for a play. Which two seats did she get? Hello, this is Blackfriars Playhouse. Can I help you? I'd like to get two tickets for King Lear at 5 30 this evening. Do you still have any tickets available? We do have a few seats left. But I'm sorry to say we don't have any next to each other. If you don't mind, though, we can get you two seats separately. Okay, we don't mind. Do you have any particular requests? Well, do you have any aisle seats? Yes, we have an aisle seat at the left side of the center section. And to the right of it, three seats over, we have another free seat. To the side? Okay, then please book that aisle seat. Certainly. How about the other one? Do you have any seats near the center? The only center seats we have left are from the first row to the third row. I'm not too crazy about having actors spit on me, so. This room is relatively small, and I think you could enjoy the play even at the end of the row on the side. Is that so? Then I'll take the one you mentioned before on the left side. Okay, I think we're almost ready for the presentation tomorrow. Just a few more things. The meeting will start at 9 sharp, so could you double check the meeting room today? Yep, I've already checked the room. Okay, great. Did you make sure the projector is working okay? Oh, I was going to check the projector tomorrow morning when I have my laptop. No, we've got to get that checked today. We won't have time to deal with it in the morning if there's a problem. So make sure to check that projector today. That's the most important thing, okay? Will do. And did you get the copies of those handouts? Ms. Tanaka is making them now. Let's see. What else? Oh, did you check the whiteboard? Yes, I did. Sometimes the pens don't have enough ink left in them. Did you get a chance to check them? Not yet, but I'll make sure to do that later. Yes, please make sure to do that today. A man and a woman are talking about preparations for a presentation they'll be making tomorrow at their office. What will the woman check after the conversation ends? Okay, I think we're almost ready for the presentation tomorrow. Just a few more things. The meeting will start at 9 sharp, so could you double check the meeting room today? Yep, I've already checked the room. Okay, great. Did you make sure the projector's working okay? Oh, I was going to check the projector tomorrow morning when I have my laptop. No, we've got to get that checked today. We won't have time to deal with it in the morning if there's a problem. So make sure to check that projector today. That's the most important thing, okay? Will do. And did you get the copies of those handouts? Ms. Tanaka is making them now. Let's see. What else? Oh, did you check the whiteboard? Yes, I did. Sometimes the pens don't have enough ink left in them. Did you get a chance to check them? Not yet, but I'll make sure to do that later. Yes, please make sure to do that today. We have to decide on the hotel for our trip next month. Okay, let's check the internet. The Ocean Hotel is near the beach. It says $120 a night per person, and you get a buffet breakfast. How about the Pine Hotel? It's $80 a night. I don't want to waste too much on accommodations. Hmm, but the Pine Hotel is far from the beach and from downtown, and it says you have to pay for Wi Fi. What about the Sunrise Hotel? It usually costs $140 a night, but now they're running a promotion and we can stay one night for $90. It's between the beach and downtown, plus, it has free Wi Fi. Sounds good. Oh, wait. It says the deal is for next week only. Oh, I didn't see that. So, how about this place, the Royal Hotel? It's located in the middle of downtown and it costs $100 a night. The room doesn't look so nice, but they have free Wi Fi. Okay, let's book this hotel. Oh, it's already fully booked. Shoot. Then I think the first one is best. Is it full? No, it's not. Great. A man and a woman are choosing a hotel. Which hotel are they going to choose? We have to decide on the hotel for our trip next month. Okay, let's check the internet. The Ocean Hotel is near the beach. 
It says $120 a night per person, and you get a buffet breakfast. How about the Pine Hotel? It's $80 a night. I don't want to waste too much on accommodations. Hmm, but the Pine Hotel is far from the beach and from downtown, and it says you have to pay for Wi Fi. What about the Sunrise Hotel? It usually costs $140 a night, but now they're running a promotion and we can stay one night for $90. It's between the beach and downtown, plus, it has free Wi Fi. Sounds good. Oh, wait. It says the deal is for next week only. Oh, I didn't see that. So, how about this place, the Royal Hotel? It's located in the middle of downtown and it costs $100 a night. The room doesn't look so nice, but they have free Wi Fi. Okay, let's book this hotel. Oh, it's already fully booked. Shoot. Then I think the first one is best. Is it full? No, it's not. Great. Let's move the tables for tomorrow's meeting. All right. Shall we put all the tables in the center of the room so that everyone faces each other? Well, there's going to be a group session first, so let's separate the tables into four sections. Four people will be seated in each group. Okay. And I'll put some pens and pads of paper on each table. Thank you. And we'll have a short presentation at the beginning of the session, so we need a projector here. All right. Also, we're going to use a whiteboard, aren't we? Is it okay if I put the whiteboard next to the screen? Well, how about putting the whiteboard at the other end of the room? That makes sense. After the meeting, we need to put everything back where it was, in four rows of two tables per row. A man and a woman are talking about the layout of a meeting room. How are they going to arrange the tables? Let's move the tables for tomorrow's meeting. All right. Shall we put all the tables in the center of the room so that everyone faces each other? Well, there's going to be a group session first, so let's separate the tables into four sections. Four people will be seated in each group. Okay. And I'll put some pens and pads of paper on each table. Thank you. And we'll have a short presentation at the beginning of the session, so we need a projector here. All right. Also, we're going to use a whiteboard, aren't we? Is it okay if I put the whiteboard next to the screen? Well, how about putting the whiteboard at the other end of the room? That makes sense. After the meeting, we need to put everything back where it was, in four rows of two tables per row. Every month, you need to check our office supplies and order any items that are running low. This time, let's take a look at them together. Here's the checklist. Okay, that sounds good. Well, starting with the paper, it looks like there's only one box left. We use lots of paper every day, so let's order two more boxes. Okay, the printer is out of color ink. Should we order that? We don't really print documents in color, so we don't need to worry about that. Hmm, okay. Looks like these whiteboard markers are running out of ink. Right, those need to be replaced. We get a discount if we order them in sets of five, so let's do that. Okay. And while we're at it, can we order a mouse? Sometimes it works, but sometimes it doesn't. That's probably because it's running out of batteries. Let's check the stock of batteries and order more if we don't have many left. Sure. Well, we have three batteries here. You can take two of these for your mouse, but buy a six pack of batteries to replace them. A man and a woman are talking about office supplies. What will the man order? Every month, you need to check our office supplies and order any items that are running low. This time, let's take a look at them together. Here's the checklist. Okay, that sounds good. Well, starting with the paper, it looks like there's only one box left. We use lots of paper every day, so let's order two more boxes. Okay, the printer is out of color ink. Should we order that? We don't really print documents in color, so we don't need to worry about that. Hmm, okay. Looks like these whiteboard markers are running out of ink. Right. Those need to be replaced. We get a discount if we order them in sets of five, so let's do that. Okay. And while we're at it, can we order a mouse? Sometimes it works, but sometimes it doesn't. That's probably because it's running out of batteries. Let's check the stock of batteries and order more if we don't have many left. Sure. Well, we have three batteries here. You can take two of these for your mouse, but buy a six pack of batteries to replace them. Excuse me, I need to go to the airport. Would you tell me how to get there? Sure, there are a few ways. If you take bus number one, it takes about one and a half hours to the airport. It's the least expensive way. Bus number two is a non stop bus. It's more expensive and leaves once every hour, but it only takes 50 minutes. I see. 
What about taxis? There's a taxi stand in front of the building, and they take about an hour. But they use the expressway and charge extra for a lot of luggage, so it's going to be a lot more expensive than the bus. I guess that makes sense, and I'd like to avoid paying too much. You didn't by chance buy anything at Shopping World while you were here. They offer complimentary shuttle service to the airport for customers who make a purchase there. Wow, I didn't know that. I haven't bought anything yet, but I was going to stop by and get some souvenirs there anyway. Then you can use that. A woman is asking for directions to the airport at an information center. How is she going to get to the airport? Excuse me, I need to go to the airport. Would you tell me how to get there? Sure, there are a few ways. If you take bus number one, it takes about one and a half hours to the airport. It's the least expensive way. Bus number two is a non stop bus. It's more expensive and leaves once every hour, but it only takes 50 minutes. I see. What about taxis? There's a taxi stand in front of the building, and they take about an hour. But they use the expressway and charge extra for a lot of luggage, so it's going to be a lot more expensive than the bus. I guess that makes sense, and I'd like to avoid paying too much. You didn't by chance buy anything at Shopping World while you were here. They offer complimentary shuttle service to the airport for customers who make a purchase there. Wow, I didn't know that. I haven't bought anything yet, but I was going to stop by and get some souvenirs there anyway. Then you can use that. I need you to deliver some more sweaters in time for the sale next month. Okay, what do you need? We need a thousand of the small red sweaters and four hundred of the medium red sweaters. And we also need six hundred of the small green sweaters and two hundred of the medium green sweaters by the end of this month. Red and green sweaters. Actually, we're running low on green sweaters and we're waiting on some green yarn from our supplier. We'll get you started with the red sweaters, though. No, no, no. We need the red and green sweaters together. So please just get as many green sweaters ready as you can. Okay. I think we can get 200 of the green sweaters to you on time. Which size has higher priority? The small ones take priority. Sorry for such short notice, but we really need your help. All right. We'll do our best. We'll get those green sweaters to you along with all the red sweaters you ordered. A woman and a supplier are talking on the phone. What is the woman going to get for the sale? I need you to deliver some more sweaters in time for the sale next month. Okay, what do you need? We need a thousand of the small red sweaters and four hundred of the medium red sweaters. And we also need 600 of the small green sweaters and 200 of the medium green sweaters by the end of this month. Red and green sweaters. Actually, we're running low on green sweaters and we're waiting on some green yarn from our supplier. We'll get you started with the red sweaters, though. No, no, no. We need the red and green sweaters together. So please just get as many green sweaters ready as you can. Okay. I think we can get 200 of the green sweaters to you on time. Which size has higher priority? The small ones take priority. Sorry for such short notice, but we really need your help. All right, we'll do our best. We'll get those green sweaters to you along with all the red sweaters you ordered. Excuse me, can you tell me how to borrow books? Is it your first time at this library? Yes. Well, then I'll explain the rules to you. You can borrow up to six books and five CDs or DVDs at a time per person. But you can only borrow up to 10 items in total at a time. Everything needs to be returned in two weeks, and if you'd like to renew, please let us know before then. Can I also borrow magazines or newspapers? You can't borrow newspapers, but you can borrow magazines except for the latest issue. Can I return them through the mail? We can't accept returns through the mail. Please come to the library to return them. After hours, you can put them in the box next to the entrance. But items that are overdue, please return them directly to this desk. I see. Thank you very much. A woman is asking about a library's lending policy. Which materials could she borrow at one time? Excuse me, can you tell me how to borrow books? Is it your first time at this library? Yes. Well, then, I'll explain the rules to you. You can borrow up to six books and five CDs or DVDs at a time per person, but you can only borrow up to 10 items in total at a time. 
Everything needs to be returned in two weeks, and if you'd like to renew, please let us know before then. Can I also borrow magazines or newspapers? You can't borrow newspapers, but you can borrow magazines except for the latest issue. Can I return them through the mail? We can't accept returns through the mail. Please come to the library to return them. After hours, you can put them in the box next to the entrance. But items that are overdue, please return them directly to this desk. I see. Thank you very much. What kind of trip will you be taking? I'm going scuba diving. Since I'll be bringing all my own equipment, I'm a bit worried about getting it stolen. Very smart of you. Insurance against theft is included in all of our plans. Since scuba diving equipment is an unusual type of baggage, only Plan A can cover it, though. Alternatively, you can get insurance specifically for scuba diving equipment and add it to other plans. Plan A is the most expensive one, right? What's the difference between Plan B and Plan C? Okay, for example, if you happen to stay in a hospital abroad, Plan B covers flight tickets for your family to visit you, but Plan C doesn't. I see. If I get the special contractor scuba diving equipment and add it to Plan B or Plan C, would it be more expensive than Plan A? With Plan B, that would make it a little more expensive, but with Plan C, it would be less expensive. Okay. By the way, is there any plan that's cheaper than Plan C? Yes, we have Plan D, but it doesn't cover accommodation if your flight gets delayed or canceled, so we don't recommend this plan. Got it. I agree that I need coverage, but I don't think I need coverage for family plane tickets. So I'll take this plan and combine it with the insurance for scuba diving equipment. A man is choosing an insurance plan. Which plan is he going to sign up for? What kind of trip will you be taking? I'm going scuba diving. Since I'll be bringing all my own equipment, I'm a bit worried about getting it stolen. Very smart of you. Insurance against theft is included in all of our plans. Since scuba diving equipment is an unusual type of baggage, only Plan A can cover it, though. Alternatively, you can get insurance specifically for scuba diving equipment and add it to other plans. Plan A is the most expensive one, right? What's the difference between Plan B and Plan C? Okay, for example, if you happen to stay in a hospital abroad, Plan B covers flight tickets for your family to visit you, but Plan C doesn't. I see. If I get the special contractor scuba diving equipment and add it to Plan B or Plan C, would it be more expensive than Plan A? With Plan B, that would make it a little more expensive, but with Plan C, it would be less expensive. Okay. By the way, is there any plan that's cheaper than Plan C? Yes, we have Plan D. But it doesn't cover accommodation if your flight gets delayed or canceled, so we don't recommend this plan. Got it. I agree that I need coverage, but I don't think I need coverage for family plane tickets. So I'll take this plan and combine it with the insurance for scuba diving equipment. Last week, we asked 200 employees to answer a questionnaire about their fitness habits. The focus of this questionnaire. Was on how many hours they exercise each week. Did you tally up the results for the A and B branches separately? Yes, and employees had four options: less than an hour, around one to two hours, around three to five hours, and six hours or more. Here are the results. So employees in both branches answered about one to two hours the most. Looks like they're exercising about once a week. Yes. And after that, employees in the A branch were most likely to answer about three to five hours, while in the B branch, the next most common answer was less than an hour. Hmm. Not even ten percent of employees at the B branch exercise more than six hours. That's right. So I was thinking we could organize weekly sports events there that anybody could casually join. That's a good idea. It'd give employees a good chance to socialize too. I'll leave it to you. Thank you. I'll take care of it. A woman is reporting to her boss about the results of a questionnaire. Which graph represents the employees from the B branch? Last week, 
we asked 200 employees to answer a questionnaire about their fitness habits. The focus of this questionnaire was on how many hours they exercise each week. Did you tally up the results for the A and B branches separately? Yes, and employees had four options. Less than an hour, around one to two hours, around three to five hours, and six hours or more. Here are the results. So employees in both branches answered about one to two hours the most. Looks like they're exercising about once a week. Yes, and after that, employees in the A branch were most likely to answer about three to five hours. While in the B branch, the next most common answer was less than an hour. Hmm, not even 10% of employees at the B branch exercise more than six hours. That's right. So I was thinking we could organize weekly sports events there that anybody could casually join. That's a good idea. It'd give employees a good chance to socialize too. I'll leave it to you. Thank you. I'll take care of it. I heard we're supposed to volunteer for some activity and write a report about it for class. We can choose anything, right? What are you going to do? I haven't made up my mind yet. What about you? I haven't decided yet either. I'm interested in environmental issues, so I'm looking for something in a nature conservation group. I see. So you want to go and pick up trash off of the ground? Well, that'd be okay, actually, but I'm looking for a group activity. I want to learn more about a leadership role in this kind of organization as well, if possible. You know, I have a friend who helps out with a group that plants trees with kids. Are you interested in that kind of thing? Yeah, that sounds good. Thanks. It'd also be a great opportunity to interact with children. Do you want to do this too? Maybe, but I'd like to try something a bit more people focused, you know, like helping elderly or disabled people. Oh, my mother is helping out at the local senior center. Would that be interesting to you? Yes, that sounds great. A male student and a female student are talking about volunteer activities. Which activities are they going to take part in? I heard we're supposed to volunteer for some activity and write a report about it for class. We can choose anything, right? What are you going to do? I haven't made up my mind yet. What about you? I haven't decided yet either. I'm interested in environmental issues, so I'm looking for something in a nature conservation group. I see. So you want to go and pick up trash off of the ground? Well, that'd be okay, actually, but... I'm looking for a group activity. I want to learn more about a leadership role in this kind of organization as well, if possible. You know, I have a friend who helps out with a group that plants trees with kids. Are you interested in that kind of thing? Yeah, that sounds good, thanks. It'd also be a great opportunity to interact with children. Do you want to do this too? Maybe, but I'd like to try something a bit more people-focused. You know, like helping elderly or disabled people. Oh, my mother is helping out at the local senior center. Would that be interesting to you? Yes, that sounds great. This new cheesy bread isn't selling well, is it? No, we placed it on the top shelf, though. Hmm, maybe it's too high for some people. They probably can't see it. Then let's put it on the middle shelf. Sounds good. They'll see it when they first come into the store. And why don't we put a red cloth on this shelf so that they know it's our new bread? All right, then we'll have to move the croissants to somewhere else. Top or bottom? Why don't we put our regular items on the top shelf? They'll sell well even if they're not easy to spot. That has to be the French bread then. Let's put it in a basket so it'll stand out. Good idea. Now, the croissants have to be on the bottom. Okay, how does it look? Looks good. Let's see how it goes for a week and then decide if we need to make any adjustments. Two bakers are talking. How are they going to display their bread? This new cheesy bread isn't selling well, is it? No. We placed it on the top shelf, though. Hmm. Maybe it's too high for some people. They probably can't see it. Then let's put it on the middle shelf. Sounds good. They'll see it when they first come into the store. And why don't we put a red cloth on this shelf so that they know it's our new bread? All right. 
then we'll have to move the croissants to somewhere else. Top or bottom? Why don't we put our regular items on the top shelf? They'll sell well even if they're not easy to spot. That has to be the French bread then. Let's put it in a basket so it'll stand out. Good idea. Now, the croissants have to be on the bottom. Okay. How does it look? Looks good. Let's see how it goes for a week and then decide if we need to make any adjustments.